What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Boot Camp. In this video, we are going to talk about the Marksman, Clint. Clint has a good set of area of effect, Blink, and crowd control skills. Our wild wanderer, Clint, is a Marksman hero. I consider Clint as a burst area of effect Marksman, since his passive skill can deal damage along a line that can also deal critical damage. Not only that, his ultimate skill can be casted one after another, which can help trigger his passive skill more than enough to kill enemies. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Clint based on my experience. I will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this boot camp. But before that, let me explain his skills one by one for further understanding. Clint's passive, quick draw, lets Clint's next basic attack after using a skill to deal damage in a line. Enemies along the line of basic attack will receive physical damage. The description says otherwise, but this deals physical and not true damage. The damage of this skill can deal critical damage as well, the fact is. This skill is considered as a basic attack, so other basic attack effects like Demon Hunter's Sword and Deadly Blade will work. We will discuss and experiment this skill further on the tips and tricks section. Skill, Blind Smoke, lets Clint project the smoke bomb that deals physical damage. Enemies in the area of effect will receive physical damage. The smoke bomb will stay in the area for a while. And enemies in the area will have their hit rate reduced. Meaning, their basic attack may miss with a 25% chance. As you can see, some of Layla's basic attacks didn't deal damage on me. It's because she kept on missing those shots. The chance increases as the level of this skill increases. Enemies will also have their move speed reduced in the area. Appeal Rope lets Clint shoot a trap net to a specified direction and deals physical damage to the first enemy hit. The enemy hit will also have his movement speed reduced for a few seconds. He also jumps back upon shooting this skill. The jump can make Clint pass through walls as long as it is thin enough to pass through. Clint's ultimate skill, Howitzer. Let's Clint launch a grenade in a designated direction. The grenade explodes and deals a certain amount of physical damage to enemies. This skill can store up to 5 grenades which can be casted one after another. A grenade is restored every 10 seconds. The restoration time can be affected by cooldown reduction effects. There are so many items that you can buy for Clint. You can focus on offensive items since Clint is a marksman. For me, I choose to buy items that grants critical chance, critical damage, attack speed, and physical attack. As for starting item, you can consider buying Demon Shoes. Demon Shoes grants mana regeneration and movement speed. Its unique passive regenerates your mana upon eliminating minions. It also regenerates your mana upon killing an enemy hero or assisting an ally. Buying attack items, such as Endless Battle, can boost your damage effectively. This item gives you additional physical attack, health, mana regen, lifesteal, movement speed, and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive grants you additional true damage on your next basic attack after using a skill. 
Triggering the passive of this skill also grants you additional movement speed. With the cooldown reduction in its unique passive, Clint will be more explosive with this. You might also want to consider Berserker's Fury. This item gives you additional physical attack and critical chance. Its unique passive grants you additional critical damage on your critical hits. Also, dealing critical hits will increase your physical attack by a certain amount, for a short period of time. You might also want to consider Scarlet Phantom. This item grants physical attack, attack speed, and critical chance. Its unique passive grants you additional attack speed and critical chance. After dealing a critical hit to an enemy, this buff lasts for a few seconds. You might want to consider Blade of Despair. This item grants additional physical attack and movement speed. Its unique passive will give you additional physical attack when the target's health is below a certain percentage. The movement speed bonus can also help you chase enemies or escape death. Lastly, you might also want to consider Malefic Roar. This item grants physical attack. Its unique passive grants physical penetration. Also, basic attacks will ignore some of the turret's defense. The item build for Clint really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in-game. One of the best spells to be used on Clint is Flicker. You can use it to escape danger, even death. I use Flicker a lot for Marksman Heroes, since Marksman Heroes must always keep their distance. You can also consider Sprint. This can really help you run from danger, or chase enemies. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Marksman Emblem set. Custom Marksman Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a Marksman. Set Fatal to its max level because it can give you extra critical chance. Higher critical chance means higher chance to deal critical damage. Setting Doom to max level will provide you additional critical damage. Higher critical damage means higher damage on your critical hits. Get Weakness Finder to have the chance to slow enemies. The effect will greatly reduce target's movement speed and attack speed. This effect has a short cooldown. For me, it's the best thing to get. Why? Because this can help you chase enemies when your first and second skill are on cooldown. And you can lower the enemy's attack speed if you are in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the basic attack hit rate of the enemies lower. That means, the enemies may miss their basic attacks most of the time. Prioritize second skill less since the first skill is what you need for damage dealing. Always upgrade the ultimate skill when available for upgrading. Clint's passive skill is really explosive. With the ability to deal a boosted basic attack in a line is really scary. We have tried an experiment to check if this really deal true damage or not. On the left side of your screen, the enemy has no physical defense items. On the right, the enemy has a physical defense item. Just to elaborate things up, true damage deals damage regardless of the enemy's defense. So, as you can see, we dealt less damage on the opponent that has a physical defense item. Meaning, Clint's passive deal physical damage and not true damage. Unless, the developers just had the damage counter wrong. We had another experiment with Clint's passive skill. We tested different items that has basic attack effects. As the skill description only mentioned that critical hits affects this skill. They didn't mention that basic attack effects affect this skill. So, we tried out Demon Hunter Sword. It works. We also tried Sea Halberd or Deadly Blade. It also works. We also tried it on Lifesteal, but it is a bit tricky. As you can see. We dealt a single basic attack and was able to get more than 300 health. Now, upon using the passive skill, we only recovered almost 100 health. Even if we have more than a thousand physical attack, it was expected that we should have recovered more than 100. So, in this experiment, we believe that Clint's passive nerfs the effect of lifesteal. Clint's passive has a really long range. I frequently use this to shoot down enemies from afar. Especially the dying enemies who tries to escape, with your ultimate skill ready to be spammed. You can trigger your passive skill almost every time. 
as this can also deal critical hits. Enemies in the line will be suffering from your burst damage. Clint's first skill is what you really need on a one-on-one -on -one fight. This skill can slow down enemies, and this also reduces their basic attack hit rate, meaning, when they are inside, their attacks can miss by a percentage depending on the skill level. Clint's second skill is what makes Clint mobile. With its ability to make Clint jump backward and also pass through walls. Escape from enemies would be much easier, especially the trap net you shoot slows down the target. You can also use this to chase dying enemies. Just make sure to shoot the net in the opposite direction you intended to be. His ultimate skill is what you need for extreme burst. The grenade deals burst damage. You can store up to 5 grenades and cast them instantly one after another. With the ability to cast this skill instantly, you can go trigger happy with your passive skill. In terms of combo, there is no specific combo with Clint. All I can say is that, every time you cast a skill, make sure to deal a basic attack afterwards. This is because your passive skill is what really deals damage in team fights. Let me show you one scenario of how I used Clint. On this scenario, you can see that I deal basic attack every after I use a skill. All you need to depend on is your passive skill and your items. Your item build is what will make you stronger, so just make sure to farm faster. You can farm faster by always killing jungle monsters every after minion wave. Additional tip. When the enemies try taunting you with words, do not fall into their trap. They just want you to tilt and ruin your game mindset. Instead of tilting, just take this as a motivation to beat the enemies better. That way, before you end the game, you can return the favor. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Clint. This video just guides you on how to use Clint the Kurumi way. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Clint. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to my channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, check the community tab on our YouTube channel for the mechanics. See you on the next Mobile Legends Bootcamp. Cheers.